let's get to the straight to the heart of the matter about what constitutes a war crime. Well, war crimes is a, a phrase that's used loosely. Um, in the International Criminal Court, there are three categories of offences, leaving aside aggression, which doesn't apply. There are um, uh, crimes against humanity, genocide, and war crimes. And war crimes can be committed against combatants and civilians, uh, but it's a narrower definition. The real gravamon of these offences and the conduct involved is crimes against humanity. And um, under the Rome Statute, which set up the International Criminal Court, crimes against humanity covers any act when committed as part of a widespread or systematic attack directed against a civil population. And it covers all sorts of conduct, obviously murder, extermination, uh, deportation, torture, rape, all the things that sadly we're seeing happen now in Ukraine. So the charges would be brought under Article 7, I would think, of the, the International Criminal Court Statute as crimes against humanity. And what are the actual chances of one day seeing Putin and his cronies in the dock? Well, you mentioned about uh, Russia and the United States of America neither being uh, member party states to the, to the International Criminal Court. In fact, interestingly, Ukraine is not a member state. They didn't sign the, the Rome Statute. But they have on two occasions acknowledged the jurisdiction of the, criminal, the International Criminal Court. And because this conduct is taking place in Ukraine, the International Criminal Court would have jurisdiction to try anybody. But the difficulty is the International Criminal Court uh, have never tried someone uh, in their absence. And in fact, the actual Rome Statute seems to prevent it. But there will be others, maybe not Putin, there will be others who will be uh, traveling around the world and could be arrested and extradited back to The Hague. And certainly if uh, President Putin ever left the Russian Federation, he would be arrested under an international arrest warrant from the International Criminal Court and could be forcibly taken back to The Hague.